Let me go back, if I can, very briefly to the decision to publicly go out with your results on the email. Was your decision influenced by the Attorney General's tarmac meeting with the former President Bill Clinton? Yes, in, in a ultimately uh, conclusive way. That was the thing that capped it for me, that I had to do something separately to protect the credibility of the investigation, which meant both the FBI and the Justice Department. Were there other things that contributed to that that you can describe in an open session? There were other things that contributed to that. Uh, one significant item I can't, I know the committee's been briefed on. There's been some public accounts of it which are nonsense, but I understand the committee's been briefed on the classified facts. And probably the only other consideration that I guess I can talk about in an open setting is that at one point the Attorney General had directed me not to call it an investigation, but instead to call it a matter which confused me and concerned me, but that was one of the bricks in the load that led me to conclude I have to step away from the department if we're to close this case credibly. Director, my last question. Uh, you're not only a seasoned prosecutor. Um, you've led the FBI for years. You understand the investigative uh, process. You've worked with this committee closely, and we're grateful to you because I think we've We've mutually built trust in what your organization does and, and what we do. Is there any doubt in your mind that this committee can carry out its oversight role in the 2016 Russian involvement in the elections in parallel with the now special counsel that's been set up? No, no doubt. It can be done. It requires lots of conversations. But Bob Mueller is one of this country's great, great pros, and I'm sure you all will be able to work it out with him to run it in parallel. I want to thank you.